Hi there, Intergoes here and welcome back to my ZX Spectrum programming uh, videos. This is the second video in the series. Uh, the first one was sort of just doing colours and inks and that sort of thing. So in this one I was going to do a program called Patterns, but I think that jumps ahead a little bit too quickly. I want to keep it really basic to start with. Uh, with the Patterns program I do sort of understand what the output is, but I'm not quite sure about a couple of the commands which are in that little program. So um, I won't jump up to that yet. So if we just go into basic first. In this one I'm just going to do uh, basically showing that the spectrum can be used as sort of like a calculator. So you can just put commands in like 1 plus 3 and it gives you the output. Uh, obviously that's not a program though, it's just telling the computer to do something so you can say like 4 uh, where's the times key times 2 and the answer is 8 so to put that into a sort of program context we have to do it in line orders like before so we start off with 10 and the first command we're going to use is let which we haven't used before but it's basically saying uh, from now on let something um, be saved into the computer's memory so it's a bit like algebra so we'll let n equal 1. So now whenever we use the expression n in a program it will say that that is 1. It will treat that as 1. Um, that's quite simple. Uh, next we're going to do print which we've used before which is print something on the screen. Uh, so we're going to print n so that will print at the moment 1 and then we've got a semicolon which means the next thing in it's going to print on the screen will be f straight after that and we want a space so in the little um, speech marks we put a space and then we want another semicolon because we want the next thing to come after that as well and so the next line we're going to have another let command and uh, as I said before it runs it in order so we're now going to let n equal, equal something different so n will now equal um, n plus 1 so from this point on in the program it will take what n is at the moment which is 1 and add 1 to it now what we want to do next is go to command which we had before and we want to go to number 20 so we don't want it to go right back to the start of the program we want it to come in here so at the start it starts at 1 and it prints it then after that we're going to add 1 to it and then it's going to come back round print it again and add 1 to it print it again and it's just going to keep adding 1 to that total every time so hopefully when we run that it will just keep showing you uh, a number and it will keep adding one to it which it does and then that will keep going forever and it's just adding one to it so that's just a simple program showing you that you can use the let command to make a symbol equal something so we'll just save that under calculator So that's the first uh, simple example. So next we're going to try and use the input command. So if we just uh, reset this. And then go back down to basic. So what an input command does, it actually it, uh, makes the program wait for the user to input something into the computer and then it will save what they input into um, the symbol you're assigning it to. So first of all, if we do 10 let x equal one, which is basically what we did before, but we used n. This time we're saying that whenever, whenever we use x, it equals one. Then we use the new input. So the program will wait here for you to type in something and it, whatever you type it in it will um, 
replace n in your program with that number. So if you typed in the number three, n would then uh, three would then be what n is. Uh, so next we want it to print something so that it can show that you you're doing something otherwise it will run in the background and you won't actually see anything happening so we want n which is what your input is and then after that we want to show that um, it's timesing something so we're going to print that on the screen as well so in between the two speech marks so it shows the time and then after that we want it to take the x value which is 1 at the moment and then after that we want it to show on the screen equals and then after that we want it to do the actual sum so we want n which is what you inputted and we want it to be times by x which is 1 at the moment so hopefully that's not too confused, uh, confusing so it's going to basically say your input times um, what x is which is 1 equals and then give the answer what n times x is uh, so the next line we want to let um, x equal x plus 1 so we want it to go up 1 each time one letter plus 1 so this will basically go through the times table of what character you input so for example we use uh, the number 3 it will say 3 times 1 equals 3 and then in the next line it will add 1 to that so it then print um, sorry, if we put in go to 30 because we don't need to get another input and we don't need to put the 1 in anymore so a loop back to 30 so it'll start off with say 3 times 1 and it add 1 to it, go back round 3 times 2, 3 times 3 and um, hopefully it do the times table, so if we run it so it's, as you can see, it's waiting for an input here. So let's do a five times table. And it prints it out for you. So we did five times one because X was one to start with. And then it added one to it. Added another one and it keep going and going. And it will just keep giving you what five times the number is plus one each time in the result. And that's just another simple calculate the program so we'll just save that over the top of the old calculator one uh, here and finally let's just reset this once more I just want to make one more little uh, example and it's just showing you um, that using brackets in calculations changes an output. So if we do print uh, six plus, oops, sorry, six plus two divided by four. So six plus two divided by four, it gives six point five. Whereas if we do print, and then we do brackets six plus 2, close the brackets, um, divided by 4, it will now give you a different answer of 2. Now the reason it does this is because in uh, on the computer and in mass it always does the um, calculation inside the brackets first. So when you're making programs you just be careful that if you want this to be worked out first you always need to put it in brackets. Um, it does brackets first and then it will do um, I think it's to the power of then multiply or divide and then plus and then minus so yeah so you'll just get different results so I just thought I'd add that to the end 
but that's just a very simple uh, example of how to use calculations on the spectrum. Also a quick introduction to the let command and the input command. So hopefully we'll step up a little bit more in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Please remember to thumb up the video and leave a comment if you liked it. Cheers.